Have you ever found yourself in the middle of a medical emergency looking for a professional, calm person to help you? When in that very moment you realize it's you, that you are the only person and that your own abilities would need to be enough in that dire situation. My name is Daphne Hayden. This past summer, in the June of 2021, my husband and daughters were starting off a hot Saturday morning preparing for fire season by weed whacking a dry hill near our property. My husband being a firefighter is always prepared. So not only does he regularly clear all the brush around our property, but he's also made it a point to keep a first aid kit with some basic medical supplies that he puts in it on hand at all times. Well, about 30 minutes into them weed whacking, I get a phone call on my phone from Ryan and he is urgently telling me that I need to get the first aid kit and meet him outside. So I rushed to get it from our hallway closet and as I'm heading outside to meet him, I see him hunched over in the middle of the street vomiting. As I saw this, I started to panic, realizing that I had mentally prepared for blood, a cut, something of that nature, considering he was weed whacking. But rather, in the process of his weed whacking, he had inhaled a piece of debris that had gotten caught so far back in his throat that he couldn't remove it himself. In a panic, I'm racking my brain trying to think of what I can do. When I remembered a few months prior, he had bought a special tool called McGill forceps, and he had taught me how to use them in case our children had any kind of obstruction of food or anything in their throats. When I used this tool, I was able to remove a three and a half inch piece of wood out of his throat. Seeing the look on his face when we took it out was priceless. <laughs> He was so relieved. In conclusion to all of this, I'm very thankful for this experience, mostly for the fact that I had the supplies that I needed and I knew how to use them. But more importantly, I was thankful that I was able to remi remain calm and think clearly because in any given situation, that's the most important part when somebody is panicking themselves and they're hurt, that we can remain calm Thank you very much for listening to my personal account.